Hello everyone, uh, I welcome you all for this new series on uh, fundamentals of cyber security. Uh, welcome you on my channel. Uh, this is a new series after a very long time and uh, I'll go ahead with you know all those things which is there and very important for the cyber security. You see uh, this the, the topics that I'm covering up is a very concrete to the fifth semester GTU, uh, Gujarat Technological University. I'm following that syllabus here and I want to cover that whole thing and make a course for it. So it's not like, uh, I mean, people can't understand it. Definitely they're going to understand, but uh, the topics are very concrete there. Okay. I'm taking the syllabus. So yes, for sure that I will take a topic and then get into the deep end part and uh, we will see the the various aspect of the topic but it is a very concrete syllabus okay so i'm not going to change anything like that i'm going to make another series for like topic wise uh, in that uh, but uh, right now it is like you know i'm following a syllabus so that's the thing so let's get started so the first thing that fundamentals in cyber security deals with it says that how to become okay how to become a cyber security analyst or an engineer so the question is how? Let me uh, take a very pen, pen here. So basically, the question it is still not thickened. So let me let me have a thickened bar here. So this is good. So the question is how to become cybersecurity analyst. This is basically a question that generally youngsters are having. They do not know how to start to become cyber security this H is not thickened so let me thick it how to become cyber security analyst do not worry uh, if I'm writing too much slow because after a long time I'm you know getting started with this so the question is how to become cyber security analyst or engineer so the very starting point is how can you start you can start with learning programming languages this is a very important point you know there are phases I mean there are maybe five or six phases that you have to follow if you do not follow it then you are you are going to lagging in between right so the first thing that you need to you need to learn is something called as programming as well as uh, scripting these two things are important so let me write it down here uh, and uh, how to erase this thing so it's a small eraser I have yeah there we go and uh, again uh, Sorry if I'm taking too much time here, uh, but this is the thing. Okay, so the first thing is you need to understand what you, what are the programming language that are uh, important in cybersecurity. So it's not like you need to learn every programming language, but still need some programming language, programming and scripting language. I'll tell you what programming language and what scripting language you need to be very clear with. So the first language that you should know, it's a best language of all people are using it too much it's a python okay you need to be very clear with your python uh, the elementary programming language that means c c plus plus you also need to be very good at uh, php uh, why it is i'll tell you then uh, you need to be very clear with javascript uh, this is also very important and apart from that it starts with you know java this is also good and uh, once you get this it's a small amount of programming language you also need to know about Perl and Go. I mean it, this language is not very, that very compulsory but if you learn it's an add-on to your uh, you know knowledge. Uh, so apart from that you should also have a knowledge on a bash script for Linux. It's a command line programming language and uh, for Windows you should know about a PowerShell. So these are the things that you should be very clear with. I mean, I understand that this is too much of, you know, languages. However, if you are in a bachelor's course or in master's course, half of the language you already had done, just like C and C++, it comes in your, you know, initial semesters, like first or second or third semester. You already had learned this. You just have to, you know, go ahead and revise the things, revise the topics, get into the internals, advanced topics. You can do that, right? That's simple. PHP and Java and JavaScript comes in your advanced semesters, like in like maybe in sixth, seventh or maybe in fifth semesters, you, you learn this, right? So 
what languages you need to learn is basically Python. I do not know whether the Python comes in your uh, semester or not because different universities and uh, colleges are having different uh, uh, have syllabus and elective subjects, right? So maybe, I do not know whether Python comes or not, but you need to learn Python. It's a very important uh, language. Then this Bash script and PowerShell is also, uh, you know, important. So you need to learn these three languages. They are extra add-ons. Other languages, you need just have to revise it. Uh, no problem with it. So these are the languages that you need to be very clear with, all right? And why? See, Python, most of the scripting right now is written in Python, so you need to learn it. C and C++, they are pretty much lower level language. I mean, it is very near to the machine. Oh, you see, it's, it's very near. So you need to learn because people, just as malware author or maybe a kind of a person who writes so much of softwares and developing things they pretty much write those uh, things in c and c plus plus if they are writing malwares precisely it is written in c sharp or c or in c plus plus right three languages are very pretty much famous in malware uh, i mean malware uh, what do you call it? development right so it's uh, very important uh, that you uh, write something uh, or you learn something on c c plus plus now PHP JavaScript, well, basically it is a website development or when you want to see the internal details of a website, its source code, what kind of scripting they had used, you need to learn PHP and JavaScript for that. Because if you are going ahead to uh, analyze a website or, an, or a hack a website, I mean, I never recommend that, but to, to analyze that, you need to have an understanding of PHP and JavaScript. It's a very important thing right so the first thing is we need to understand the programming language once you go ahead with the programming language the second step that you need to clear with is something called as operating system let me take another pen here so to differentiate programming language the next thing is operating system now sir why operating system well it's very necessary why you already know uh, three four i mean operating system just like you you know windows why it is a, it's a business or education purpose operating system so we all know windows but i am pretty much sure that you you never go ahead with the advanced skills or advanced uh, techniques in windows just like you do not know how to see event viewer or i can say you do not know how to see the uh, logs of windows you do not know how to configure your firewall right so that way you need to understand the operating system it's just not like right click and create a folder delete a folder create a file delete a file it's not like that open a program control panel and install a program not like that you need to understand the advanced techniques such as modifying your firewall which is a good thing right so you need to take windows into consideration and why windows because you know generally mostly if you uh, see the statistics uh, the major attacks that happens in is this in this operating system windows operating system you know and then once you go ahead with the windows you need to you know it's a simple thing you just need to learn linux distribution all linux distribution what do you mean by distributions it means the varieties of linux such as ubuntu we have kali we have fedora we have solaris we have red hat such as all Linux distributions not very compulsory, but at least you go ahead and learn a command line Linux system, then it would be good. Uh, such as you can go ahead with the Unix system. Okay, you go ahead with the Unix system and uh, learn the command line Linux, and uh, you'd be very good at it, right? So in, instead of uh, creating right click and create a folder, you can have a command of that. Okay, mkdir and create a folder. That that way it is good, right? why command line well command line is very important to configuring things very quickly right in windows if you want to create a folder there is a specific program for that right however in linux there is no specific program there is a command for that which is very fast in nature so that's why we are using linux distribution it's a easily modified operating system so open source right so linux distributions once you are good at this these two operating system there is no need for mac actually but uh, you know it depends on the whole budget and all if you are having enough budget you can have iso of 
I, I do not know whether Mac operating system gives you ISO, uh, but you can learn about Mac. It's a, it is also a very compulsory thing. Sir, two things is done. What is the third thing? I'll tell you. Third thing is basically the, the worst thing that people generally do not like. Well, it's something called as a networking fundamental. So, fundamental of networking. Fundamental of networking. People do not like this. They don't like networking concept. But the base of you see cyber security is networking. If you do not, if you if you are not good at networking, you will not understand anything in cyber security because everything is connected there, right? So please go ahead and uh, see the elementary or fundamental networking so that you can learn. Now I'm not saying to cover up all the things in networking, but there is some specific topic. I'll tell you what specific topic you need to be very good at it. You need to understand what is OSI layer. It's a very good thing if you if you understand. Once you're good at it, OSI layer, I mean the seven layers which are there, uh, if you're good at it, you will see the things, okay? You will you will understand at least, uh, at least a minus part. So after the OSI layer, you need to understand the protocols. You know, different type of protocol. Sir, what protocol? Majorly, you need to understand what is HTTP, uh, the most uh, precisely DNS, uh, FTP, uh, also the mail uh, protocol SMTP pop and all um, if I'm giving you the only internals um, uh, you know the this is the protocol and the mostly famously you know the whole networking depends on TCP IP if you are not good at TCP IP which is the core of cyber security if you do not if you are not good at it then you will you will not you will not learn anything in it okay so please if you if you are still not at the face of TCP IP, if you are not getting the header and footer and you know the uh, the payload and all of TCP IP, then please learn it. It's a very important thing. You need to you need to see this. All right. And then apart from that, you need to be you need to see what is SSH because people are always doing this. A secure shell. Uh, then also we have a secure socket layer SSL or TLS. Uh, so you also have to see this apart from that you also should have a knowledge on port and ip addresses which means ip layer itself so this is important so learn about this all right once you uh, once you do it uh, you will get enough knowledge so the, these are the things this is the third step sir what after this if you learn these three things i mean fundamentals and all sir I know these things apart from that what I have to learn well after you learn this networking the fourth thing that you need to learn is security uh, aspects or fundamental simply security fundamental the fundamental of security why because once you enter into the field of cyber security there are tons of terminologies which you need to be very clear with such as you do not know a zero day attack maybe you do not know the exact meaning of exploit maybe you do not know the meaning of um, hack value okay so these important uh, codes or terminologies you need to learn it what is cia triad you need to learn it right because that, that is the triad that people generally follow right so difference between authentication and authorization you need to learn so these things you specifically have to learn right security fundamentally so I'm, I'm just uh, putting the terminologies here so please learn the terminologies we will see some of the terminologies in this session uh, in this course i mean once you learn the security fundamentals uh, it's time to develop something okay now it's the developing phase you can develop uh, let me not put the uh, let me just uh, yeah so now i i know how to erase things okay so, a development, a development phase. So, development phase. So, what kind of development, sir? Once you learn everything, like four steps you already had learned, what can you develop? You can develop your own script. You can learn, you can develop your own script. And apart from script, you should get a knowledge about different things, such as the famous the new technology such as node.js angular 
because web is you know based on these technologies right now so you need to be very clear with jsp jquery they are very important and uh, yeah the elementary uh, html and css okay Sir, I know this. I already know this thing. So development is, I think, it would be easy for you. Once you be, uh, once you are good at development phase, the second, the last step is a very simple for you. It's nothing, but uh, uh, you will learn how to host the things. Once you had developed your script and something, some tool or application, once you develop it, you need to upload it. So deployment phase. So it's a deploy, give it to the public so that other hackers, other script kiddies can use it. So deployment, deploy to the GitHub, it's an important thing. And there are many other, uh, you know, tools such as you can also go ahead with Travis. Um, you can join any forum to show your skills. So these are the six steps that you will see, learn and you, these six steps will lead you to become a cyber security analyst. I hope you will, you are getting this. Now, sir, that, there is a question. What is the question? Sir, question is simple. What field should I choose? Because there are so many. Yes, there are many fields. Again, again, this is the problem. Many fields of cyber security. What are the fields, sir? On what field should I go? Well, see, the first field, I mean, not like in priority wise, but you can go ahead with computer security. If you love it, if you love computer, if you are, if you can modify and do so many things inside it, you can go ahead. The second thing is you can go for information security information security uh, if you are good at you know different uh, networks then you can go ahead with a network security there is also something called as a cloud security There are different different branches you can put your effort to be a malware analyst sometimes they are also known as a reverse engineer and they are the god of cyber security because these people are having too much of knowledge so much of knowledge okay they are very good at it. so uh, you can also become a vulnerable assessment uh, analyst vulnerable vulnerability assessment or vulnerability analyst ability I'll tell you all about things um, then if you malware analysis is done if what else you can do you can become a penetration tester they are also very good pen test pen tester uh, you can also become like cryptography person cryptography uh, you can also go ahead with something called as forensics okay so these are uh, some of the yeah there is also ghi there is also one more department known as application or you can say software security or application security which are nothing but testers who test uh, your application for bugs and security loopholes so uh, you see these are uh, some of the uh, uh, important security uh, i mean security fields however in application there are so many things i mean website mobile everything will comes up okay it consists of too many things so i'm covering this up as a, a root of all so these are the things that you can go ahead and ch check out uh, for your you know uh, for your own career path so i hope you understand some of the things uh, to go ahead with the, with the with this field and i hope you uh, you like this uh, if you like it please uh, subscribe my channel uh, and uh, i wish you good luck for that okay thank you so much we will see you in the next session thank you